rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a hair tutorial, a hair video. I'm gonna be dying, well I already, I already bleached my roots, but I had about three or four inches of new growth of my very dark, naturally dark, it almost looked black on camera, especially compared to the blonde um, hair that I have. It almost looks black, but I have super dark roots and I went ahead and I filmed the entire process of me lightening and bleaching my hair and toning it so that I can get this really pretty light ash blonde color without damaging my curls because that is the ultimate goal is to not damage your curls. We want to be out here looking cute with our cute blonde curls but we don't want them to look like ramen noodles. You know, you don't want them to look nasty. Like you want them to look cute. So if you want to see how I do that entire process, I filmed it for you guys, then make sure you keep watching. You can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so if you're starting off like me, then you are smart and you sectioned out your hair. Um, please do not, let's not make fun of Jasmine for her, her ratchet braids that she has right now. But as you guys can see, my new growth is crazy. I haven't done my roots. I haven't bleached my hair since March. March of this year, 2018. So that is a lot of hair that I have to cover, a lot of surface area, because I don't want my roots to be this dark, obviously. And let me show you the box dye that I'm gonna be using. So this is Cream of Nature box dye. C43 Lightest Blonde. 349 at my local beauty supply store if you guys want to see the sticker there it is if you're doing your whole head and if you have a lot of hair two boxes is needed i don't know if i want to bring the bleach down onto my already light hair and like take it lighter like one step lighter i haven't decided yet but if i do do that then i think i'm gonna need the second box which is why i just bought two i look so so crazy right now. So you get um, bottle one is the cream developer, bottle two, high lift booster blonding powder. On the side of the box, it even shows you like, if you're starting off with super dark hair, which is, this is about the color of my roots. It's not black, but it's like damn near close to black. This is the out color outcome that you should get. And the second bottle, I'm going to add the contents of this bottle to add the powder. Oh, it's okay. Bam. Oh my god. Put the top back on. It smells good. The reason why I like using the Cream of Nature box dye is because I feel like it's really gentle on my curly hair to where it doesn't damage it. It lifts it really well, like it's a true lift. I feel like I've used other box dyes by other brands and it says that it's gonna lift my hair super light, but it doesn't actually end up doing it. it smells good because they have like shea butter and stuff in the actual um, dye as opposed to like just mixing your own and it just smells like straight up chemicals. I'm gonna do these two front sections first. You want to make sure that wherever you put bleach first, by the time you're finished bleaching your the rest of your head, that section will be lighter. So if you wanna focus like the front of your hair to be a little lighter, if you want everything to be around the same color, you have to move very quickly. Let's do this side first. I'm gonna there's powder that didn't mix well stuck in my bottle.
this bottle is giving me such a hard time this time around. I don't Okay, so that's one braid done. It's already starting to lift. I can see it. It's been two days, two days since I bleached my hair. In the last part of the video, the last step you guys saw me doing was applying the bleach. I let the bleach sit on my hair after I finished. The entire process of me applying the bleach to my entire head took about an hour. And then I let it sit on my hair for like another 20, 25 minutes until I was really satisfied with the front um, color of my roots. And it's pretty much like, it's really close to the hair that's already like lighter. Like you can see my highlighted bits here. This is what the back looks like. I'm not, I don't even know what the back looks like. My, so I use the purple shampoo, washed it out. Then I conditioned and then I washed that out. And then I deep conditioned and I didn't touch my hair for that night. So I deep conditioned and I kind of just put it up in like a like a messy bun or whatever, like a little bantu knot situation. And I slept on that and then in the morning I washed out the deep conditioner and I styled my hair like, and I wore it out. And that was yesterday. And then today I took my hair out of my pineapple. So this is two day old wash and go. And this is what my curls look like. They look a little stretched out because I just had it pulled back into a ponytail as you saw. And it looks frizzy because it's, I slept on it and I didn't put my bonnet on. Okay, so the two toners that I have are both by Wella. This is the only toner that I've ever used. So before, in previous videos of me um, bleaching my hair, I've spoken like a crap ton about T18, which is the lightest ash blonde shade in the Wella toner. And um, this is my first time picking up the, what is this, Honey Blonde 10 GB slash 1036. I think I'm gonna mix these two, I don't know. Like, let's just, let's just do it. Job. Then I'm gonna split this section in two and I'm gonna clip up the back section. Split this section in half and boom. I forgot to mention what developer I'll be using. I have 20 volume cream developer here and I also realized that I don't have enough developer. I'm gonna have to use conditioner.
Okay, so this is what my whole head looks like. Complete. The back is still kind of transforming. The back is still toning, so it's a little lighter because I literally just finished. I'm, my scalp is on fire. My eyes are burning the whole time. Don't do this in a closed room. I didn't even, I had the door open and I had a fan going and my eyes are still burning. So make sure you're in a well ventilated place, but I'm gonna let this sit for like another 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go wash it out and I'm gonna put a deep conditioner in my hair. I'll show you which one when I come back um, and then show you guys the finished color. Okay, so I know the last time you guys saw me, I had, the toner in my hair so i washed the toner out and i used two deep conditioners let me get the two deep conditioners back first i put the jamaican black casserole with strength and restore smoothie with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar i put this um from root to tip and then I added this primarily at my roots um, because those are what was just bleached and toned. So I felt like the hair was weaker, obviously, because they just went through a whole two chemical processes. So I focused this mostly on the root, but I did kind of bring it down. I braided up my hair. I did four chunky braids on both halves of my head. So I had eight braids in total. I put my bonnet on and I went to sleep that night. And then in the morning, I washed out both of the deep conditioners. I added my wash and go curly products and blow dry my hair and it looked like this. And that was yesterday. So this is the second day of my wash and go. So my curls are a little bit more frizzy and a little bit more full. I feel like they look better than they did yesterday because my hair was looking real flat yesterday. But um, yesterday night I put it in a pineapple and I was able to take it out today and it had more volume and a little bit more frizz. But this is the final color result. The roots are still a bit brassy because they weren't as light as the rest of my hair down here. Um, but that was also retoned, so I brought the, the, the yellow, like whatever yellow was in the bottom section of my hair has been completely taken out. Like it looks kind of gray. Almost, it's like very much like ash blonde. And then this is all like the honey blonde color. So you know how I mix the two toners? I feel like the honey blonde color kind of sticked more to the parts that were brassier and it took out some of the brassiness and made it more like honey-ish. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks really good and I actually really love the way that it came out. I feel like it looks better than if I were to just not tone it at all because it was looking very yellow. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this very long but detailed video on how I touch up my roots and basically bleach them and dye them to match the rest of my hair and just toning my hair to overall achieve this color. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions, um, make sure you check the description box because there will be a lot of links and just info there on all the products and tools and everything that I use. And if there's anything that I didn't address in the video or you may still have a question about, then you can leave me a comment down below and I will write back to you guys. You can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!